crucifixion. Jesus is three days in the grave. He preaches uh, to, to those that are in hell. He preached captivity captive. And then after three days, he rises from the grave. Yes. But look at what happens. This is the powerful thing that we were dialoguing and debating about, which is so powerful. After three days, God raises Jesus from the grave. Yes. The resurrection. Yes. And what happens? He goes and he's walking that the women see him first. Somebody say the women see him first. The women see him first. And you wonder why church is packed with 80% women because the women tend to see God first. Yeah. And that's a whole other message. <laughs> but, but after all of this time, here's Jesus walking with the disciples. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, and they were walking and Jesus drew near and they didn't even recognize him. Matter of fact, he went in and Thomas is there. Thomas is still doubting that this is him. And what does Jesus tell Thomas to do in order to prove that it's him? He says, Thomas, if you don't believe it's me, put your finger in my in the palm of my hand or where the nail prints were. He said, begin to put your hand in my side and see where the wound is, where I was pierced in my side. Check out my feet. Look at all of these her nail prints. Yes. 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 But I overcame it. Yes. 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 
such a great. Tell somebody, 
somebody, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. One of the things I had to learn how to not take personal and how to allow myself to overcome was one of the things I didn't realize was such a major setback. And that is something we take for granted, and that's disappointments. Somebody say disappointment. Many times we don't realize how powerful disappointments are. And we're wondering why are we dealing with this? Why are we going around this bin over and over? Because we don't realize how powerful disappointments are. And at one time, when, when I was talking and, and, and communicating with my doctor, uh, a friend, we were talking, and they began to say, James, you got to realize how the disappointments can really set people back. And they don't realize what it is. And it's simply disappointments. And what disappointment does, what well, it is, cause you to miss appointments. Right. Yes. Yes. Disappointments cause you to miss divine appointments. Yes. Yes. The word, the, the, the word this really means not or not to. When we, when that, that's why somebody, people used to say a few years ago, stop dissing me. That means stop putting me in the not category. Stop putting me in the not going to happen category. Why? Because when we have disappointments, we literally miss or say no or not being appointed happens to us. My God, my God. 